I've been waiting a long time for you, explorer. You must know, as well as I, that your journey into the realm of the Mad King will be perilous, full of puzzles, mystery, and danger. I fear you are not ready for what awaits you. But I know there is no stopping you. Exploration is part of your soul. I am here to help and prepare you for your adventure. A kingdom needs a king, but it's the people that make a kingdom. These are the accounts of Kay's Clockenmarker, son of Karol Clockenmarker. After the tragic death of his sons, our king's heart turned to stone. And with it, the love of his people vanished. Swallowed by the gray veil of depression, our beloved king no longer showed his face amongst his subjects. Locked up in his keep, the king mourned, and we, his people, mourned with him. Over time, rumors began to grow of the king's isolation. He had locked himself away, speaking only to the one who promised to rid him of his grief. His closest friend and confidant, the jester. He would whisper of magic, of alchemy, of eternal life, and a rule that would last forever. Promises the king's grieving heart could not recognize for what they were. Blatant manipulations. This is where the dark days of Rockbury began, with his majesty's quest for eternal life. In his accounts, Kay speaks of many atrocities committed against his people by decree of the king. But let us now skip ahead to the most important day of all. The Day of the Red Mist. I rose from my bed early and went to work in my father's workshop, creating animated puppets for a show he had planned. I was testing one of the speaking heads I had made when I felt a shiver running down my spine. A terrible cold I could not shake. I heard my father call my name and I ran outside. He stood perfectly still, his face locked in fear. I followed his gaze and I saw his majesty's keep looming over us. Something was wrong. A swirl of red clouds gathered atop the keep. A storm was brewing in the sky. Through the clouds, I saw a moon, red as blood, pouring its crimson light over the massive keep. The ground shook. Cracks formed beneath my feet, and a red mist rose from the deep. It was so thick, I could not see my own hands. I yelled, Papa! Papa! But there was no response. Then, an overwhelming cacophony of voices filled my entire skull, as if the devil himself laughed in a thousand voices. The air filled with cries for help, people trying to find their loved ones. But I felt frozen. My mind wanted me to move, wanted to help. 
but my body would not listen. I am ashamed to say I lost consciousness that day. The image of my frozen father, now forever on my mind. When I awoke, I could not believe my eyes. My world had changed. All around me, frozen corpses of my friends and family littered the ground. Their skin had turned a terrible blue. And my once beloved town, broken. Now, nothing but a frozen wasteland engulfed by endless white. The story of Rockbury is one of unimaginable hardship and darkness. But there can be no darkness without light. And the story of Rockbury does not end here. Thank you.